The two front runners in the 2016 presidential campaign were in the Granite State last night. Yeah, that's right. Democratic candidate Hillary Clinton held a town hall meeting in Concord, while Republican contender Donald Trump held a town hall out in Rochester. Ray Brewer joins us live in the studio with a look at some of the highlights from both events. Good morning, Ray. Good morning, Sean. Donald Trump once again deflecting attacks, this time from first in the nation voters. The tone much different at Hillary Clinton's town hall. Instead of coming under attack, the majority of the crowd showing their support. The night after Donald Trump battled GOP opponents in California, the billionaire businessman held a town hall meeting in Rochester. At one point, Trump answered a controversial question regarding Muslims in America. We have training camps growing where they want to kill us. Mm -hmm. That's my question. When can we get rid of We're going to be looking at a lot of different things. And, you know, a lot of people are saying that, and a lot of people are saying that bad things are happening out there. We're going to be looking at that and plenty of other things. Trump also touched on topics like Social Security and illegal immigration, saying if he were president, he would build a Trump wall at the U.S.-Mexico border that he says will keep out criminals. People aren't going to Home Depot and buying a ladder and walking right off. This not, not this wall. Not this wall. In Concord, Hillary Clinton got a standing ovation when she walked into a town hall meeting at the Boys and Girls Club Thursday night. The former Secretary of State addressing a number of issues, including the heroin epidemic. This kind of snuck up on us. And now we have in America, and in particularly in New Hampshire, a serious problem. Clinton heard about many concerns about immigration, social security, services for veterans, and funding for those with disabilities. She says the United States is heading towards a caregiving crisis, and she's open to new ideas and how to deal with it. Whether it's defense spending or caregiving with all of the services associated. First of all, we've got to do a better job of supporting families who take care of their own family members. Now Clinton continues her campaign swing through the Granite State today. She'll speak at UNH in Durham and will attend a fundraiser in Plymouth. Tomorrow, she and the five other Democratic presidential candidates will attend the New Hampshire Democratic Party convention. On the Republican side, Louisiana Governor Bobby Jindal will attend a dinner with the Pemmy Baker Valley Republican C Committee. Excuse me, that's in Ashland tonight. In the studio, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.